All right, guys. Well, here we are at our next little project. Uh, I say that in every video. It's kind of funny, but it is. But anyway, uh, if you guys are familiar with these things, they're uh, axle housings for bigger trucks, big 18-wheeler type trucks. And um, what I'm going to be doing today is installing spring porches similar to these onto this new axle housing right here. Uh, pretty standard, straightforward little job. And this one here had a little boo-boo. It broke off. So they decided to get the whole thing replaced. There are other things wrong with this as well. So perfect timing to make a new one. But on the interesting side, I am going to be trying some new wire. This is a, a dual shield wire, Fabco XL525. It's a Hobart for the wire. And I wanted to give a big thanks to uh, Eric out at Four Corners Welding Supply in, <clears throat> in Gallup, New Mexico. He sent it over to me so I can try it out. So uh, go give him uh, <laughs> some support. I uh, really appreciate it. That was really kind. Okay, so let's uh, get started with this. We'll be just cleaning these things up here, clean it up there, slap them on there, preheat. You know, pretty straightforward job. And uh, we'll knock this out of the park. So let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna preheat this thing with a torch. It's uh, could use a rosebud, I could use propane, but it's fine. It's gonna be hot, so this will work uh, just to preheat it a little bit. Now it doesn't have to be the hottest, right? But just enough for the molecules to expand and for the cast to expand enough for it to accept the uh, weld that goes on there, because that weld is really hot. So I'll be preheating this with this. All right. first impressions that came out really smooth now that's just one pass but what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna end up running another pass uh, right in here 
a little bit past this here so the stresses go past it and then another one right here on top of it so it's a three pass weld uh, it, it could probably do fine with just the one because it was burning in there pretty hot which is really nice so i'm very impressed with that wire but just to be safe put a couple more passes on there so let me see if i can get the welding lens on there so you see how smooth it is So here's the other piece and uh, for those that know this has a slight taper up on the one side it's not exactly flat so that kind of helps it go up on this right in here just like that so that the measurement from here that way is correct so look for that little slope you can put it backwards but then it'll be off it doesn't have that taper you need so that's what i got that'll do it well let me uh, let me clarify before i get a little too far uh, there's a little bit of a correction 
they gave me the same part number for the opposite side but what i was talking about the slope is that this guy right here this banjo area starts to slope up right in that area so that's where you would need this piece to taper up just slightly there so they ordered two of the same which is fine i mean it'll work just as good like that but that's for a situation where it starts to roll up just ever so slightly like the opposite side so i'll glue this guy right around there fill that little gap up as i mentioned before there's more to fill right so uh, for better penetration so it should be fine so now I just measure that out preheat it weld it Well, I got to tell you, and I got to confess, my dual shield driving skills are horrendous. I can't see the puddle like I can on the <clears throat> on the 7018s or regular MIGWIRE. Maybe because it's dark. No, it's dark it's because uh, I had to pause on this job earlier today, and I started off in the morning, but I ended up at night. <clears throat> so, or it could be that light, just shining too much light through the top of my hood. I can't really tell, but man, I can't drive straight, it seems. But it's glued on there, so it's not coming off. So uh, all that's left is to do this bottom one, and of course, this piece, and we should be in good shape. So let me turn this thing over. I gotta admit, that's pretty crazy. It goes in there like butter. It's uh, pretty nice. Can't wait to get used to it.
All right, well, that looks like uh, it'll do it. Turned out pretty good. Not bad for a dual shield rookie. Uh, it worked out all right. This is the next day, by the way. I let it cool off and uh, I'm gonna be delivering it here shortly. So, uh, turned out really well. I really like the way that looks uh, with paint on it, especially. Look really neat. Of course, I'm not used to not being able to see the cooling edge of the puddle, like, like on the 7018, right? So you can kind of direct the weld uh, with dual shield. I'm, I'm having difficulty seeing it because the, the flux stays hot for so long trailing behind it. But it's something I have to get used to. <clears throat> but either way, uh, again, a big old thanks to Eric over there at uh, Four Corners Welding Supply in Gallup. Uh, go give him some support. That was really nice of him to send a roll of wire. So I'll be using that wire here in the shop uh, machine. And of course, a standard solid wire for other things. And then, of course, a, a different flux score. You'll see it all in the videos. <laughs> but uh, anyway, just thought I'd let you know that uh, we are done. So it's off to the customer. And we will catch you guys on the next one. And so we'll catch you later. Thanks a lot.